Ah, oh, shucks. I'm in a real pickle now. Well, what seems to be the problem, Billy? I'm supposed to go out to eat with the gang tonight, but, well, I want to look nice. I want to dress well. But I don't want to look like I'm going to see the president. What do I wear? I know exactly what you need. You do? What's that? You need an unconstructed jacket. An unconstructed jacket? Never heard. What's that? Well, Billy, it's a suit, just like the one you wear to church on Sunday, but one without the internal material that gives it shape and structure. Gee, well, that sounds nice and all, but I already told you, I don't want to look so formal. Well, that's the beauty of the unconstructed jacket. You won't. I won't? Why? Well, uh, I'll show you. Now, your everyday suit jacket has canvas. Traditionally, it's made of horsehair. It's on the inside of the jacket and covered by lining. There are half canvas suits, fully canvas suits, and suits with little or no canvas at all. The canvas is what gives the suit structure and a nice shape. The more you wear it, the more it molds to your body, giving it a beautiful clean silhouette. But in an unstructured or unconstructed suit jacket, there is little to no canvas at all, making it more lightweight, breathable, and less rigid with little structure, giving it a more casual, laid-back appearance. Without a canvas, unstructured jackets will many a time come without lining, making the jacket even more breathable, a perfect choice for the summer. Most unlined jackets will, however, have some sort of lining material in the arms so your shirt does not stick, and on the upper back as well to prevent sweat from damaging the suit. This is commonly called butterfly lining. You will also see lining covering the seams of the jacket. This is called piping. It isn't there just to look nice, as it stops spraying at the seams. Oh, gee, I look swell! <laughs> Glad you like it, Billy. Just keep in mind that unlined jackets take more skill to make as they can't cover up any messy work behind the lining. It may cost you a little more. That's alright. I save up every penny I make. Well done, Billy. But there's one thing that makes all the difference. One thing that can have you appear to be going to a wedding or just a night out with the boys. One thing? What's that? The shoulders. The shoulders? Uh, that's just what I said, Billy. Anyway, in most suit jackets, padding is placed on the inside of the shoulder. This raises your shoulders up a bit and can make you look stronger and more assertive, making you look professional and formal. But with an unconstructed suit jacket, there is little to no padding at all. This rounding of your shoulders shows your natural silhouette, giving the jacket a more relaxing fit and appearance. If you were to take the silhouette of a man in a padded jacket and a man in a jacket without padding, one may surely guess that he is wearing a suit, but with the other, well, you just may not be so sure. Wow, who'd have thought? A jacket like this would be perfect for a casual night out with the boys, but I'm assuming you want this back now, right? No, Billy, that's yours now. Ha, oh, gee, that's swell. Thanks, mister. <laughs> but of course, Billy, any time. You have fun now tonight. Well, that's all for today. If you enjoyed today's entertainment, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell notification sign. It'd be wonderful if you would be the first to know when we broadcast a new picture. But before I say goodbye, I would like to know, what do you like the most? Do you like unconstructed suits or do you prefer more shape and elegance? I myself, I prefer unconstructed. But let us know what you think, because remember, this isn't just about me or Billy. We are all in this together. And with that being said, folks, I will see you here all next week. Good night. From me and Billy.